We give honor and thanks to the creator God, to Mama Earth, and to our ancestors. I am Ashley Gripper, daughter of Paul Gripper and Dawn Kipkin. May they rest in peace. My parents did not have access to the resources they needed to heal their minds, hearts, and bodies. They experienced unprocessed grief, depression, homelessness, and food apartheid-induced heart disease. What they experienced is systemic racism. Systemic racism plagues Philadelphia. Research shows that fast food stores are mostly located in poor Black neighborhoods where folks experience more targeted junk food marketing and a lack of access to health care. All of these can damage your mental and physical health. No surprise, heart disorders are the leading cause of death in Philly and one of the health conditions most affecting millennials. These challenges are only worsened by pandemics like COVID-19, where healthcare workers make choices about who lives and who dies, whose life is valuable and whose life can be discarded. COVID-19 emphasizes why community control of food systems and land are not just important, but they are literally our means of surviving, healing, and thriving. In a city where over 80% of food stores offer little to no produce, a big key to healing is having control over what goes in our bodies. I offer land-based drones to my community as a solution. Through a four-month Skillshare, we provide education and training to Black Philly women on agriculture, food sovereignty, carpentry, and land-based living. Our workshops are guided by the skills highlighted in Octavia Butler's Parable of the Sower. I created LBJ as a way to foster healing from the wounds of systemic racism, to foster healing in our relationships with the land and with each other. We help Black women develop tools to be self-sufficient and build self-sufficient communities. I mentioned before that Black folks in Philly experience a lot of junk food marketing, fewer supermarkets, and greater negligence in healthcare. As a PhD candidate at Harvard, my research shows that those same Black neighborhoods that experience food inequities are also the areas with the most community gardens. This speaks directly to concepts of collective agency, community resilience, and self-determination. Where there has been disinvestment leading to vacant lots, Black folks have created spaces to gather, share information, and for their families and communities to access quality and nutritious foods. This is the work that Land Based Jones hopes to continue. We offer gardening, building, and land living workshops. We spell out the connections between food sovereignty and health to develop communities that are collectively self sufficient, self reliant, and self determined. Peace. <laughs>